You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Claros Mortgage Team, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Home Serve Home Warranty, Republic Title, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What's up, party people? Welcome to Texas Real Estate. I am Todd Tremonti, and we will be discussing all things residential real estate across the great state of Texas with an emphasis right here in Dallas-Fort Worth. Lots going on as we head into, open quotes, the holidays, end quotes. What does that mean? We'll talk about it a little bit today. We'll also be getting into what's exactly happening with housing inventory and pricing. Little state of the market address. We'll dig into that as well as your questions, which you can send to us right now. 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Call or text. Let me just plant that in your mind right now. If you've got a real estate question, you should not be rolling around town without an answer. Just ask us. We'll be glad to answer that for you. 214-310-0008 or online, like my son says. ToddTremontiTeam.com. That's ToddTremontiTeam.com. If you forget all that, just Google anything close to my name and you'll find us. We are here to be an advocate and a resource for you. Clearly, if you are a fit for us, we'd love to earn your business. But if you're not, we would still love to be an advocate for you. We always say if we bump into you in the grocery store, we want that to be a positive experience. We want to have added value in your life. 214-310-0008. Save that in your phone call or text anytime, especially when we're on air. But when we're not, uh, you're welcome to call or text with any real estate questions about buying, selling, investing, remodeling, enjoying your home, keeping those costs down, taxes, or anything related to your home whatsoever. Now, we are going to talk today about an interesting topic that I think many, many, many DFW residents are overwhelmed by. Days left until Christmas. No, but we're going to get into that as well, and I appreciate you bringing it up. Excellent job. Uh, We're going to get into the absolute overwhelm of messaging in and around real estate, right? So you turn on the nightly news and you hear panicked headlines about market shifts. Uh, You read the Wall Street Journal or any sort of financial news and you hear uh, sort of the confusion in the marketplace that that real estate's uh, shifted in a way, stocks have shifted and bonds have shifted, and it's all negative. Normally, when something is up, something else is down. Uh, But if you believe the media, you would just say, like, everything's bad. Uh, And that's just not the case. But we'll get into what, when, where, why, and how. As well as if you were a buyer, seller, investor, or homeowner in DFW, what's true for you? So we'll get into kind of a state of the market as well as uh, which messages out there are accurate, which of them are, are, are more motivated by... Uh, self-serving or or greedy motives and which ones can be instructive to you as a DFW resident. So we'll make our way through the show. We'll touch on all those things as well as seasonality and the holidays. Um, Maybe get into a little uh, English football, might get into some uh, holiday countdowns, but we do have a full studio today. Pretty excited about it. Uh, We've got microphones all over the place. We've got the English wonder himself, the Yanni Donnie. Welcome to the show, Ian Daniels. Would you like me to begin now, or would you like me to start later with all my fun stuff? If by later you mean after the show's over, that's when I would like that to happen. 56 days, 15 hours, and we're going to call it right around uh, 50 seconds until Christmas. Exciting, huh? Oh, my God! Courtney, excited? Pretty fired up. I know Courtney. I can see it on her face. (laughs) There she is. We've also got Courtney Cleveland. Courtney Cleveland's in the studio producing. Just rocking the mic as well as the board, the computer, all the devices, all the things. Courtney, can I get your thoughts on the uh, recent hiring of Middlesbrough's new head coach, Michael Carrick? Mm. Thank you. I think, what, I think what she meant by that was up Very the borough. Good. And I want to be clear that a response like that doesn't happen without the tutelage of the young MG, the producer extraordinaire of all things audio, video, and digital, Mason Goss, who's bringing Courtney right along into the world of brilliant additions, both verbally and silently to the show. Thank you, Courtney. And really all credit goes you to You got Mason. the sad violins ready. 
Uh, this is my see. second to last show. Penultimate. I think I've penultimate. I think I've got a trombone. Mm. Sad so day. Sad, sad so day. Sad. Now this week was your birthday, it so was. we're mixing the uppers and the downers this I week. I had a great birthday. The team celebrated me. It was, we had a great party at uh, at my parents' house, and it was so fun. It was great. It was wonderful. <laughs> we had a great time. There was good food. We got to see Mama Goss. We got to see the original KG Sister Goss. Mm -hmm. Love Let's it. See the whole family. It was a good time. Mama Goss is the only Goss that's never been officially or technically affiliated with the Tremonti family or Tremonti team mm -hmm. because the original KG, Mason's sister, babysat for our kids when they right. were littler. Mason's she likes our to keep it that way, though. Producer extraordinaire forever, uh, as would we. At some point, this thing's going to tip over and it's not going mm -hmm. to be too much. And then uh, Papa Goss, David's one of our world class buyer specialists. So we love the whole Goss family. It was a great day of celebrating Mason. And then Mason did. What only Mason can do, which is to run some of the greatest trivia, of some all of time. the greatest trivia of all time. Now, Mason can give you trivia, uh, sports trivia, random movie trivia, absolutely obscure musical trivia. I mean, he can go to the depths and corners you of the even, Internet. You didn't even stay for the last. I know. The I second did. to last round was the was farming trivia. Oh, I see. I would have had a. I might have had some chops on that one. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for being here, Mason. Uh, for we me. might have one or two more shows with producer Mason before he runs off to be a farmer in East Texas, which we're excited to be his first clients and customers when he starts putting out quality, high uh, high quality, uh, ba you know, massage. He's going to read bedtime stories to the pigs and the cows. It's going to be great. It's going to be high quality stuffs. All right. Let's get into it. If you've got questions or comments, get them to us, 214-310-0008. First segment is, as always, brought to you by Patrick Gleros and the fine folks over at Cardinal Financial. Uh, Patrick has built a team similar to how we've built a team. He wants to make sure he's putting people in a position uh, that's going to use their God-given gifts and abilities. He's going to make sure that he's delivering world-class service to every single person that he gets to talk with or anybody on his team gets to talk with. You can go to patrickglovos.com. You can actually begin your application right there on the website. You can give him a call at 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308-804, patrickglovos.com, or as always, go to toddtremonteam.com, and you will find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. Been getting a lot of questions, and a lot of people have been talking about all the different ways in which... Uh, realtors, real estate companies kind of put themselves out there. We do this and we do that and we do this other thing. And this is what makes us different. And we're different to this thing. What What is it that you would say is what makes us different here on the Todd Money team? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. And we get this all the time. Lots of people hear lots of messages on radio, television about, we want to buy your house. We'll make an immediate offer. We'll do it for X percent or whatever. And I just think most of that is insanity what makes us different is that one of the first things we want to do is sit and talk to you in what we would consider a consultation, not a presentation. We, we're not ready to present until we know what you, your family, and your finances need. Every situation is different. Every home is different. When you hear someone barking from the rooftops, whether that be radio, television, or whatever, this is what we do, this is what we do, you know, I, I would... I would stop and take a moment of caution just to say, is this person willing to find out what's best for me or are they trying to cram a one size fits all business model down everybody's throat and just do a ton of volume? The other thing is we're local. We've built this model. We guarantee to sell your home over the average price and under the average time. We guarantee to save buyers at least $5,000 throughout the purchase process. And we have built a team, a business model, technology systems, hiring, training, and all those things around the Dallas Fort Worth real estate market. I could name the home city and home state of lots of people that you see on TV here on the radio and see, you know, internet ads and postcards in the mailbox from that live in Austin, Atlanta, you know, New York, Phoenix, they're all over the place. That doesn't make them bad people, but it certainly doesn't make their business model and their approach best for Dallas Fort Worth folks. And that's what we do here at the Todd Tremonti Home Sound Team. We've built a model with and for DFW homeowners. We specialize in a few key areas. We do kind of mid to upper mid uh, neighborhood homes. We do a lot of golf course property. We do a lot of homes with pools. And one of our favorite things to do is homes on land, which is kind of a really big lot. Uh, we can do farm and ranch, but we're talking kind of half acre to 10 acres in there. So those are just a few of the things we do differently. We do a lot more. We work as a team where our agents specialize. They're not trying to help buyers, sellers, renters, commercial, residential, industrial land. We'd almost do exclusively residential. 
We really do exclusively residential. Uh, we do it in a few key ways. And we have people that are full-time, fully dedicated, uh, world-class training. We train agents all over America, much less our own team. So those are just a few of the ways we do that differently. So um, we, a few stories that we've heard in and around the office over the past couple of weeks, uh, David actually was working with a client and was able to get them under contract for uh, $10,000 under what the home was listed at. Yep. Um, John was sharing recently that he's had a couple of properties that he's put under contract that have gone for more than uh, what they were listed at. I think one was 10 over and I think one was 15 over. Yep. And so... Like that's what we're seeing a little bit, a little bit more of. Like, I think there's a lot of people out there thinking, ah, dang it, I've missed the top when it comes to selling, and there's no way I can get something on the purchase side. But we've seen it both ways. The win wins are happening there. C give us a an overview of kind of what you're seeing um, on on the grand side of things. Just yeah, know, I, I think I think big picture. If you're a regular listener to Texas real estate, we've been talking since May about the fact that this is the best market we've seen in years if you're both buying and selling. Now, you don't have to be both buying and selling, but you can win on both sides in a market like this. So just this morning, Davis on our team was talking about a home that he put under contract for one of his buyers, with one of his buyers, that appraised for $24,000 more than they have it under contract for. I mean, that is a neutral third-party opinion of value. That's not you know anybody trying to make up any numbers. That's incredible. That hasn't happened in a very long time as far as a standard in the market. Now, we had some of those happening last year, but you know that, that was hard work to get there for sure. But you can win right now as a buyer because oftentimes you're going to be buying a home from a lower confidence seller. There's a lot of other reasons. And of course, we have some systems and strategies that we don't necessarily share publicly. But if you're thinking about buying or selling, reach out to our team, 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremonteteam.com, click any button, fill out any form, call or text any phone number, and we'll get you squared away. But the point is, some markets extremely favor sellers and buyers are just getting beat up all the time. That's We've been in one of those for a while. Yep. Some markets favor buyers like crazy and sellers are just having to give away the farm just to get something sold. We are currently in neither of those markets. We are still in a seller leaning market, but nowhere near as hard leaning as we were. So this is a great market where you can sell and buy and win on both sides or whichever way you're going, you can still win on that side. There's, there's real opportunity in a market where there's some give and take in the marketplace. There's less certainty. So as long as you're working with an expert and you have legitimate guidance and real strategies, not this one size fits all spring summer strategy that most agents have, then you really can win big whether you're buying and or selling. So that's about the shortest answer I can give you on that. We could give more and more examples and we will do that later in the show where we'll tell you some specific stories of what's happening on the ground, uh, things that you could confidently uh, plan on achieving in this market. And I know we'll get to it in a little while as well, but we'll talk about how interest rates impact that as well. Been telling you about DP Lambert and Goosehead Insurance for years now. And a couple of weeks ago, I got to tell you a little bit about Addy over there on DP's team and uh, just the outstanding uh, service that she was able to deliver for me uh, as we uh, we looked at our home insurance and our uh, auto insurance uh, again. And Addy was able to save me a couple of thousand dollars for real, like just again. under two thousand dollars. It's unbelievable. I feel like I'm almost should be at like zero dollars by now. Yeah. <laughs> right. But look, Addy did an amazing job. She communicated so clearly. She got me all the information. She walked through the options. She explained to me that not only was I going to be getting a better price by doing a bundle this time around, which hasn't been the case previously. This time we bundled. She was going to also make sure that we got the exact same high quality level of uh, coverage on both yep. the home and the auto. Reach out to DP, dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com. You can call 214-838-5684, DP Lambert at Goosehead Insurance. While you're thinking about insurance, let me ask you a question quickly, Ian. Did y'all get the crazy, crazy wins at your house this week? Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, at our house, it was bananas. I mean, I swear they were 45 plus. It was nuts. Plus. So... Whether it's an insurance question or a roof question, this is the time of year. You don't want to be waiting around and finding out it hasn't rained in like eight months and now it's going to start raining a lot, but you have a roof problem. So 
if you're even remotely concerned that at, at that wind and rain, or just that you haven't checked your roof out in the last couple of years, I want you to reach out to PMR Roofing. You can go to pmrroofing.com. You can call 214-957-0839. Most people aren't going to remember that phone number, so just remember pmrroofing.com. Ask for our buddy Jordan Collins. Uh, we love the guys over there at PMR Roofing. It's rare to love a roofing company, but they're just quality people that genuinely care for and take care of their clients and friends. And if you don't need any repairs, they're not going to try to sell you any because when you do need repairs, they want you to be able to trust them to do it right the first time. So PMRroofing.com, Quentin and the whole gang over there are incredible. Uh, call or email and just ask for Jordan Collins, Jordan at PMRroofing.com. Tell them Todd Tremonti sent you. If you need something, they'll do it right. If you don't need anything, they'll take good care of you and tell you that you don't need anything. But after that amount of wind and that kind of rain, I'm going to be having them over uh, to our home for sure. So PMRroofing.com. Now, if you've got questions about anything, roof, plumbing, electrical, buying, selling, investing, remodeling, lumber prices, by the way, I'm pumped about lumber prices. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, you can just call or text us right now. 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Um, we're getting a lot of the same questions lately. It's one of those market seasons where um, there's a lot of questions, but but they're piling up, meaning people are kind of uncertain, so they don't necessarily know what to ask. But the questions that are getting asked are this, are similar, meaning uh, like you already mentioned, you know, how do I how do I choose between agents? Because I'm hearing a million different things. Another question that comes up a lot, and it's something that I see in all sorts of ads and commercials and things that people do. And we get asked this question over and over and over. Hey, I see all these gimmicks out there. They feel like they're gimmicky. Uh, buy this and we'll only charge you that or do this first and we won't we won't even do anything for you with that or <laughs> help we'll buy before we do there's all these different things and I think yep. it brings so much confusion now something that we talk about is our over under guarantee yep. so explain if you would because this is a question that comes up hey how is this not just another gimmick yeah it's a fair question because there are a lot of gimmicks out there we guarantee to sell a client's home over the average price and under the average time now on the one hand everybody wants that, right? Um, there are some rare occasions where somebody doesn't want to sell that fast, but we rarely ever have anybody that doesn't want maximum dollars. So that's our guarantee. That's built into a seven-step proprietary marketing system and a 13-point buyer program. Now, there's hundreds, if not thousands of things that need to happen to get that done at a high level where we can guarantee to do it day in and day out. The reality is that's what pretty much all clients want. When you start getting into the gimmicks is when somebody doesn't actually want to do that for you. They want to buy your house from you at a discount, but they don't say that last part at a discount. Or they just want to get your home sold really quickly, but they're not as concerned with maximum value. Or they might hype value, but there's no promise about time. So look, you can sell a house for as much as you want if you wait long enough. A hundred years from now, you could probably get whatever price, but you know that's an extreme example. The point is, we have been selling homes over the average price and under the average time for more than 15 years. That's been a guarantee and a promise we've made for years and years and years. There's over 600 reviews on our Google profile of people that we've done this with and for. On a rare occasion, if we come up short on either one of those sides, we'll make it up to people by paying some of their closing costs, sending them on a paid vacation, or you know, it never happens, but or they could, they could walk away and fire us and not have to reimburse us for anything. Ultimately, the point we're trying to make is let's focus on what matters. Let's not just hope for results. We have a systematic plan that we've built for local sellers and local buyers with local sellers and buyers with a local team that live here, work here, and are experts here. And by experts, I mean full-time, fully dedicated, in the office, training, learning, growing, and working in a mutual um you know, comprehensive way. There are offices all over town with like 200 agents, but it's 200 different businesses. What's happening here at the Tatramani Home Selling Team is you've got about a dozen people who are working together where a client may benefit from eight or nine of those people throughout the process of buying or selling. We believe that's powerful. I'll just be really honest. I think that's how God created us to work together with our different gifts and abilities. And we point all that energy and effort towards clients getting world-class results. 
Yeah, that's great. Let me say about home serve, home warranty really quickly. Um, look, I think when people say home warranties, you get a lot of eye rolls and you're like, what's the point? They're never going to cover anything. All I can tell you is that from my experience with home serve, from the people that I know, from the people that have trusted home serve, friends of mine, family members, clients of here, we have had, they have had really good experiences. They've actually covered more than they actually even expected at times. They've been wonderful on our homes. And we've had, Christine has been making sure that everybody's happy, that they're doing what they say they're going to do, and then they continue to do so. Go check out HomeServe Home Warranty. Go to homeserve.com where you can find all the information on HomeServe. You can go to toddtramoneyteam.com. You can click the radio tab. You can find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. If you haven't checked your home valuation recently, go and do that. Head over to valuethishouse.com, valuethishouse.com. In less than a minute, it's going to give you uh, an automated valuation as to what your home would sell for and what it would rent for if you're thinking about renting it out. It's going to give you a confident rating as well. If it's less than anything like 95, reach out to us. If we will do a more customized valuation for you. We'll have a chat with you. We'll have to kind of figure out what your plan's going to be. Uh, and we'll do all that. It could be me, it could be John, it could be Jeremy, it could be somebody else on the team. Reach out to us. Go to valuethishouse.com and do your home valuation. Well, l- let me add something to that. Texas is a non-disclosure state. So this is important. In the state of Texas, it, you're not allowed to publicly display sold data about residential real estate. So as a real estate broker, I cannot just broadcast to the whole world what a home sold for. Texas protects us from that. But what these automated valuation tools do, especially the big national portals, is they just grab whatever bits and pieces of data they can find. So I'm not going to name any names, but we all know who I'm talking about. The really, really big national portal websites, like the ones most people go to online, are the least accurate. And the reason is they're operating at a national level. They're not taking any local specific measures to be more accurate. If you go to valuethishouse.com, that's going to be the most accurate automated value you can get. It's going to be more accurate than those big national portals because we focused it just on our area, on, on our sold data. But it's it's averages. It's things that we can ethically and legally share. What Ian is saying is if you go sign up for that, in less than 60 seconds, you're going to find out what your home could sell for or rent for based on the most accurate public data. But... If you have a reason that you're going to buy, sell, refinance, do something specific, and that score isn't 95 or above, then you can just reply to that email and say, hey, could I get a custom valuation? One-to-one, we can now share the most accurate, the most recent data that exists in the market, including accurate sold data. So that's a little bit of a nerdy data thing, but that's why we offer that service, which is more accurate than anything you're going to find on a national level, and we offer, you know, some minutes, some hours of our team members' expert time to get you even better if you're ready to buy or sell or invest or something like that. So go to valuethishouse.com. If you haven't done that in a couple months, I'm literally telling you, you're going to feel better. You're going to be more informed. You're going to be in a safer, better financial place for you and your family. If you go to valuethishouse.com, it's totally free. It takes less than one minute. Go to valuethishouse.com. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP. Welcome back to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, PMR Roofing, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, Republic Title, Home Serve, Home Warranty, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, Todd Tremonti. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging with us through the break. We always appreciate your time and attention, and we always, always, always want to deliver good value. Uh, I am super fired up. We hosted an event for real estate agents from all over the United States and Canada last week, and some incredible things happened. I want to share those with you, just real world lasting impact. I want to share those with you in a minute, but also uh, I want to share some information that I think would really, really benefit our local 
uh, homeowners, home buyers, home sellers, renters, uh, folks living under a roof of any kind. Um, because of information gathered from agents all across the United States, just like, Hey, what's really going on? What's the opinion of the smartest, most active real estate agents and brokers and team leaders across the country, including Canada. We're going to share some of that with you here in a minute. Um, but I was just absolutely humbled by what, um, a lot of folks across the nation, a lot of folks within our industry did, uh, in a quick little snippet, we had a silent auction, uh, we also had some daily raffles. That's not the important part. The important part is that gathered together, uh, we were able to raise over $34,000 for an organization called Compassion International, which helps feed, shelter, uh, clothe, educate, uh, and share the gospel of Jesus with kiddos in need across the globe, really in the darkest, poorest, neediest neighborhoods uh, in the world on earth. Uh, we got to hear from uh, a woman who had been sponsored as a child and grew up with the benefits of a foreign sponsor, an American sponsor, living in the slums of Uganda and tell us her story. Um, and then uh, the folks that we were with raised over $34,000 to to help more do more and more of that, as well as sponsoring 18 kiddos. And since then, two more have been sponsored as folks have gone home and, and continued to have that way on their heart. So 20 children uh, being sponsored, being financially supported, uh, given gifts, uh, sent letters of encouragement, prayer, those kind of things. So I'm just blown away by it and just wanted to mention it on air to encourage any others. Uh, if that's something that uh, is encouraging to you, that you feel called or convicted or interested in, let us know. We'd love to partner with you in your organization in some way. It's not logical necessarily to go to a real estate conference and end up with an opportunity to, to love and serve kiddos, but we're always looking for those things. You know, our, our friends and family and clients locally know that every June we do our peanut butter and jelly drive to, to feed hungry kiddos here locally. If you'd like to be a part of that next June, get involved in one way or another, your family, your business, your organization, um, we'd love to talk with you. So just text us, call or text us 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. This first segment is brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his team over at Cardinal Financial. Uh, you can go to patrickgleros.com. You can fill in an application right there on the website. Somebody on his team will give you a call and they will begin to walk through with you the next steps and answer any and all questions that you have. He really is a wealth of knowledge and it's always fun when he gets to swing by. He actually came by, he was at the conference with us, just sharing some of his his knowledge with the folks from all over the country. He also hooked everyone at the conference up with Sweet Firefly Ice Cream, which is located in Richardson and really Tukes, good which is cream. incredible. The sea salt caramel might, might make you a better human. Go He's to patrickgleros.com awesome. where you can find more information. You can call him 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. Here's a random question, Ian. Go for it. Do you and your family like to travel? Oh, love to travel. You guys ever do any road trips? Oh, yeah. Courtney. And it's Colorado this winter. If somebody wanted to go on a road trip, but they had limited time to prepare for that and they wanted to get it right, like make sure they had a really great day on that trip. You got any ideas? Give me a call. Go to, no. How I would mean, someone do that? I, I just, I think they should go to allthebestdays.com. Wow. That's, I think it's huh. a great idea. Tell me more. Well, I mean, we are looking for the best day and as many places as we possibly can. All and of them. We are following a formula of find the best coffee, get moving, get shopping, get coffee, get go play with your kids dinner. and have adventures. Get your best days ahead of you. So our our super producer Courtney, who's now part of our Tatra Money Home Selling team and our crew over hey, here, hey. Uh, David Goss is walking by the production window making weird faces. Um, runs a cool company called All the Best Days where she sells at an unbelievably attractive price. Uh, what would you call Travel them? Travel guides. Travel guides. Yes. So, so what they've lists. We have some of my closest friends in the world bought your guide for Maui, Very went sweet. to Maui and had an incredible time. What, Real quick, what are a few other ones you have? Uh, we've got Maine, 
and oh, Arizona, like Grand Canyon, Tucson, Phoenix. We've got an Arkansas guy that's got hot springs. Do you have Galveston yet? I don't have Galveston. I've got a lot of Christy blog Butte, posts. Colorado. Do we have Christy Butte? Ooh. Uh, yeah, actually, I have a Colorado wow. guide Love with Colorado that. Springs, and I don't know. Okay, that so it, where can people where can people go to see your incredible this work? This is so kind, Todd. You go to allthebestdays.com, and you'll see all the guides for sale. There's blog posts. My heart is to just give you a quick list so that you just know where the best spots are and go and okay. eliminate you, the research. Can you take thirty more seconds and talk about why this why you love this so much? Like how families prepare for travel and who gets the burden and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, I just think that the onus is on the mom and I see dads as being invited on the trip, quite frankly. And we hold all the information and all the responsibility, getting everybody packed and getting everybody there. And so I want to be your person and give you the, uh, like knowledge to have the best trip ever and to eliminate there's All a lot of the laughter in the studio well, right now because th Ian, this is a room full of dads that try to be yeah. like on it. But I have to admit, admit I pack for myself and yeah, then I drive. And get in the car. And I my, am on it. I plan some of the yeah, activities, well, we'll but my wife is taking care of all the kids and anything His. that we have to leave. The house. She's wonderful. But, but Courtney has clearly identified that many, 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 many moms feel this way. And if you go grab one of her travel guides, it's going to alleviate a bunch of that because it's going to tell you how to have an incredible day in incredible places. And you don't have to focus on all that. It's, I mean, I know lots of people that have seen it. They love your Instagram stuff. They love the guides. It's super fun. So go to allthebestdays.com and go have like your best day in amazing places across the globe. Thanks, I'm encouraging her to keep creating more of these so we don't have to. Allthebestdays.com. All right. Now here's the thing. Well done. All right. Here's the best thing. Here's the thing. Um, some people are not having their best day right now when it comes to buying, selling, or enjoying their home because they're totally freaked out by a bunch of mixed messages. Right. And what we try to do on our show occasionally, I mean, more often than not, is slow things down a little bit and say, okay, interest rates are freaking people out. Um, our price is tanking. Our price is still rising. What should a buyer do? What should a seller do? And then a bunch of other things. We try to get a lot done here. But I feel like uh, I have this protective instinct. By the way, uh, I never was able to like uh, cry about words until I until my kids were born. And then something happened in me and I became like ruthlessly defensive of my kids, which I think is pretty normal. Um, but it's like the only thing that can get me emotional at all. My, everyone's looking at me right now because I actually cried on stage speaking at this event last week because it was about providing for and protecting kids. Something happened. Now, that innate sense of protection is true for all of our friends, our clients, our prospects, the people we talk to about real estate. I'm like, don't get hosed. That's not true. Don't buy that. So that's where we come from on this show is to protect you, our friends, our family, our neighbors, our listeners, vendors, even other agents and brokers and things in town. Uh, we just want to protect from misinformation. Now, I don't think there's very many people like deliberately misinforming the masses to take advantage of them. I think people are just kind of lazy with the information sometimes. And other people are more motivated by eyeballs and clicks and views and listens than they are by advocating for the client. I'm not saying they're bad people. They just have a different model of business, different purpose. So what we want to do for people is let you know where the opportunity is and how to safely navigate, you know, the real estate world, whether it's buying, selling, or just enjoying your home. So right now, some of the really confusing things are, and we talked about state of the market. Here it is. People are starting to say prices are tanking and they're not. Prices are semi kind of flat in a few areas. We've seen people asking a little bit less for their homes than they were a few months ago. We're talking like one or two percentage points in most areas, but we're also seeing, as Ian mentioned earlier, our sellers are still getting more money than anyone's ever gotten for their home ever, almost every time. And our buyers are getting some of those below market deals. So we're seeing the whole spectrum again, which is norm what a healthy market looks like. Some people sell high, some people sell low, some people buy high, some people buy low. We're seeing the whole spectrum right now. But what frustrates me is people are starting to believe that selling high is no longer an option and buying low is still not an option. And that's just not true. What is true right now is that depending on your strategy and your focus and your effort, 
you can still achieve almost anything. It's just not guaranteed anymore. Does that make sense? It, do, it does make sense. And, you know, I get asked a whole lot of times, specifically when it, when it comes to, you know, we've already talked a little bit about, hey, these are some of the things that we do differently. But the, what the messaging that seems to come across to me is a lot of these other people that are out there, a lot of these other companies, big companies, small companies, whatever it is, they just seem to do like the same thing. The same thing just seems to happen over and over and over. And it's like, is it really being planned out specifically for me? So that's the question I get asked is like, what are you going to do that's different to everybody else that's really focusing in on, on me and my property as opposed to just the masses? Well, and you don't hear anything about customization. No. You hear, we want to make you an immediate offer for your house. And, you know, don't go through all the trouble of show like, you know, like that's backbreaking labor showing your house. Um, there's clearly an innate underlying motivation there, right? Those people want to buy your house for less than it's worth and then go sell it for what it's worth, if not more. I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm just saying the message is misleading, right? So when someone's saying, you know, I want to make an offer on your house or we'll buy your house as is right now and you don't have to do anything. That, that, that is the best option for like a tiny, 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 less than 1% of the population. For the vast majority of people, the best option is to get as much money for your house as you possibly can with the least amount of drama, probably the least amount of time also. And that's what our system is built to do all day, every day. But if that rare one half of 1% person pops up and says, look, I the money's not important to me. I need speed. I need simplicity. We can also make you an immediate offer for your house. We don't broadcast that as our primary message because that's rarely ever the best thing for someone. Same thing on the buy side, right? If, if you just need to get into a house and buy one today, we can do that. Sometimes that means throwing a whole lot of extra money at a house. We are much more inclined to say, let's get prepared up front and be careful how we approach it so we can get you a really, really great deal instead of just getting you the house which often means overpaying and being underprotected and things like that. Does that answer the question? It answers it great. Look, let me tell you about Republic Title. A bad title company can just be a thorn in the side of a transaction from beginning to end. Republic Title are one of the absolute leaders in this industry, leaders in this so area. Good. Go and check them out before you buy or sell. You can go to republictitle.com where you can find out more information about who Republic, who Republic Title are, what they do, Republic Title. What, what were you doing during the break between segments? I was resending some <laughs> documents that a title company that needed, needed to go because they didn't get it to me in a time. Because time. a different title company. And it wasn't Republic not Title. Republic Title was waited to the absolute last minute, like the middle of a closing, mm -hmm. to get a document fixed that shouldn't I've have needed to be I've got the studio fixed. yelling at me, Ian, are you <laughs> coming back in? And I'm trying to get this off. We're going live. Anyway, title companies matter. Check out Republic Title. They've got great tools and resources online at republictitle.com. If you've got questions, send them to us now, 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. That should be saved in your phone. You can call or text with real estate questions anytime. If not, go online, toddtramontiteam.com. One of the questions that comes up time after time after time, really beginning now, is decorations, holidays, yep. photographs, selling. What do we do? How much do we do? Can we go all out? Do we need to do minimal? Do we need to do anything? Yep. Can we take photos before we put stuff up? If we're not going to go live till next year, maybe? A couple, couple things. We talked about this a little bit a couple of weeks ago, but the short answer is research and experience tell us that generally speaking, holiday, holiday decorations are a positive for home sales. Now, I wouldn't be the Griswolds if your home's on the market. I wouldn't go to the full, full, full extreme. We have a previous team member that goes so hardcore for Halloween. It's incredible. They were on the news. Um, and Ian may be as close to the Griswolds as we have on our team. I love Christmas decorations, but Ian, Ian goes all out. Ultimately, I, I would- my best days, Todd. I, I wouldn't be like max, max, max crazy decorations if your home's on the market, but I would definitely decorate. I would enjoy it. I wouldn't hesitate to do that. Um, the important thing to know is that lots of homes still sell during the quote unquote holidays. Um, fewer than the annual average per month, but it's a lot more than people think. So it's still an active, really efficient time in the market. You just don't want to um, be the gaudy overdone home, but you do not need to completely strip your home of your traditions and your uh, faith or your um, celebratory, you know, decor and those kinds of things. So um, yes, do that. Now I think fall and early winter is the best time all year long. 
to buy and or sell. Buy and or sell. That's when my wife and I always get that done. No pressure to do it this time of year, but I think there's actually more advantages for you this time of year than ever. So definitely don't let those things steer you away from buying or selling. Uh, no matter the time of year, you need landscaping and keen landscaping is who you need to call. 972-424-4851 for design, construction, maintenance. They do it all. Tree work. You can go to keenlandscaping.com for all your landscaping needs. Nailed it. Nailed it. Hey, Keen's great. They're literally working on two projects for me right now. Uh, when you start getting into fall, most of us, this is either one or one a favorite time to be outside because the weather's delightful. Uh, spring is competitive, usually no mosquitoes, but sometimes mushy and things are dead. So two thoughts here where Keen comes into play. Number one, um, if you're preparing for like pathways, walkways, this is a great time to do it before we get into the wet, muddy season. Also, if you're thinking about selling your home in the spring, we want to get pictures of your home now while the grass is still green and plants are still in bloom. What a lot of people do is they wait until March and they're like, oh, we're going to sell this spring and everything's dead. And so the photos don't look great. So if you're thinking about selling, then reach out to us, 214-310-0008, and we can get you rolling and we can have professional photos taken for you now and use them later. 214-310-0008 or ToddTremonteTeam.com. So here's the question that I get asked as it relates to that. Okay. Aren't buyers going to show up and they're going to be like super disappointed that they're not going to see the same thing that's in the pictures? Yeah, it's a little bit complex because we're not big fans of showing photos of a better looking house than people will arrive to. This is slightly different in the sense of what you're saying is most buyers don't have the spatial awareness and mental visual ability to get excited about a home that doesn't look great. So we don't we don't like that for interiors, but for the drive up appeal, it's important to say, uh, hey, this photo was taken in spring, but we want you to know what this house can look like. Because when you drive up in uh, late January, February, March, even early April, and the grass is yellow, not green, and there's no flowers, and the trees have no leaves, that's a massive difference on that initial impression, opinion of value. All these things are happening subconsciously. People aren't really fully focused on it, but it's impacting from the curb to the front door how they feel about your home. And we like, we're upfront about it. Hey, this is a photo from, you know, last October, but we want people to know, hey, in a couple of months, you're going to be really proud of how this house looks. Right now, no one's house looks great. Um, and there's a lot of other tips we give our sellers to dress that up that time of year uh, that we don't have time to talk about now. But good point, but still a really valuable and ethical way to do that. What are you seeing as it relates to uh, new home builds right now? I feel like there's a lot yeah. of people that are trying to get in home builds They've become a little bit more available as things like lumber and materials have yep. become have come back and it's a little bit easier to get access to them. What are you seeing right yeah, now? Yeah, great question. Make sure I come back to the lumber thing. Right now, we're actually helping a lot of our home buyers here on the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team get into new construction homes because home builders are actually offering some really attractive incentives. Whether that be the home builder is spending money to help you get your mortgage rate down or they've lowered their prices. There's a few other ways they're incentivizing home buyers with some bonuses and upgrades that are a lot more affordable than they were four or five months ago. Um, but these builders are a little bit worried that they built a lot of homes that aren't gonna sell right now. Now, I don't think that we're gonna end up with just a ton of you know empty homes being built, but these home builders are in a reactionary mode to interest rates going up where they're going, we're going to do whatever it takes just to get these things sold so we don't get caught with a bunch of carrying costs. So, Especially because the price of that home went up so right. dramatically. Too. It went up so fast that they still have a lot of profit here. They just don't want to get into a bunch of losses. So they're wanting to sell yep. these homes quickly. They're incentivizing real estate agents. They're incentivizing the buyers. But we're also hearing more and more and more of builders trying to incentivize buyers to work directly with them without an agent. And that is a bad idea, Don't do bad it. idea. That's like going to court where the other person has an attorney and their attorney talked you into not having your own attorney. Don't do that. Builders are not all shady and unethical, but they're not held to the ethical standards of the realtor associations because more often than not, their salespeople are not licensed realtors. They're employees of the builder working with contracts written by the attorneys of the builder all together to protect the builder and not you. All right, 
PMR roofing. If you got the amount of wind and rain that we got the other night, you may be wondering if shingles lipped up, if your gutters were bent, if the, the fascia or the, 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 the soffits or the boots and all the whirly birds, turbines, all the things on top of your house got the most stress they have had in a long time the other night. We have some pretty mature trees in the back of our yard yeah. and Big limbs of just yeah. came tearing all, all down over town the last week. I've seen limbs down, uh, you know, road leaves, and I've seen gutters hanging off buildings and houses. You don't want to mess with that when we get the next big rain. So if you haven't had someone up on your roof to get a look at it, do it now before we get into, you know, lots of rain, snow, ice, sleet, hail, all that stuff. Go to pmrroofing.com or call 214 957 0839 and ask for our buddy Jordan Collins. If you don't need work done, they will not try to sell you work. If you do need work done, they'll do it right at a fair price and they'll be honest with you. PMRRoofing.com. Question that I didn't expect to be asking you, but let's go ahead and give me all your thoughts on lumber. Uh, I'm thrilled. So we're building a home right now and our uh, framing order was 50% of the lumber price when we started the project. Half. Wow. Wow. That's fascinating. It's exciting. There are other materials that haven't come down as much and a few that have even gone up because of scarcity. But as you think about a remodel or you think about a build job, reach out to our team. We'll help you navigate some, not only just the asking price, sale price kind of bits and pieces, but how do we get to a price that's right and fair for our family? So reach out to us, toddtremonteteam.com. Just Google Todd Tremonti, that's T-R-A-M-O-N-T-E. But if you even get close, you'll find us. And of course, you should save this phone number in your phone. Call or text anytime, 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. And make sure you know what your house is worth right now. If you haven't done that in the last couple of months, go to valuethishouse.com. That's valuethishouse.com and find out what your home would sell for or rent for based on the most accurate recent local data in the market. Valuethishouse.com. Remember, folks, we only recommend professionals that we have had a great experience with or our clients. So go check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. Find them all online at overunderagent.com. We'll be back next week, 3 p.m., right here on WBAP.